My name is Carrie Prather. I'm 16 years old and I'm currently a senior. Um, it wasn't anything in particular actually. Um, I always thought that the guitar was a really cool instrument and I always wished that I could play it. So one day I was at an instrument store with my mom and I asked her if she'd buy me one and that's how it all started. I write lyrics and melodies, so I write songs and I also play guitar and sing. Well, I met uh, Carrie when she was in the sixth grade and she used to come to our local dances at the youth center and she started to, to get into playing guitar first and she would come use our little music room and practice guitar. And from then on, she got into doing more vocal because she figured her parents wanted her to be really good at guitar, but she wanted to add a little more to the performances, so she started singing too and taking uh, musical lessons. It wasn't anyone in particular who influenced me to begin the instrument, but once I started playing, it, there were a lot of people who influenced me. Um, for example, the community, like the Teen Center, they were very helpful and they encouraged me to keep going with my music and they really boosted my confidence. Back in 2009, she was, we, we uh, got a videotape of her performing and we sent it to the Boys and Girls Club of America for one of their conferences and she was selected to come and perform there. And so that was also the year that Houston won our Houston of the Year Award. And uh, I nominated her for a scholarship for her to help her uh, uh, pay for some of her lessons and pay for her traveling back and forth between Tokyo to get her guitar lessons and her vocal lessons with her mom and um, she was accepted to get the uh, Hank Aaron uh, Scholarship Award for um, Chasing the Dream Scholarship and she was selected and this uh, past last year she was selected to go to uh, New Orleans to actually meet uh, Hank Aaron and perform for Hank Aaron so that was a, a very much uh, uh, prestige for her and uh, something that she would never thought that she would have to do. I play a lot for the community, or I have in the past, like Christmas Around the World, um, youth recognition ceremonies, and I've also performed off-base at uh, a greenhouse at Sagamihara Park, and I've had various performances um, in Tokyo at live houses, and also different restaurants off-base. Well, whether it's large or small, I try to perform the same and, you know, just try to do my best at every performance. I want them to meet, like connect with my music and you know whether if it's the lyrics of a song or you know the melody I want them to feel it in their heart and soul you know inspired by something I really have the drive to maybe like finish a song or to start one and so when I have a really good emotional feeling and I really want to finish a song that's how it all starts <laughs> I tell her every time, you know, you're going to forget us, you're going to forget all about us, you know, you're going to be famous. I said, I got to get your autograph now before you get too famous to even talk to us, you know. Or, but uh, she, stayed, she stayed grounded. I mean, uh, she still participates in a lot of uh, events at the Youth Center. She's uh, one of our members of our Keystone Club, and she comes to meetings every week, and she's always there with her bright, smiley face and just always willing to, to help out. And I can tell that, you know, if she, when she makes it someday, she's going to be a star forever because she has that inside of her. I would like to be a singer-songwriter and also a guitarist. Um, I want to have um, good guitar skills, not only vocal, so I want those three um, to be really good. 
and I want to be a professional musician, like a recording artist, and also to have various um, performances. Two.